welcome back. I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Pathfinder Kinmaker, the Chronicle of Ari Zero. Right, that's right, we were doing Trublost's levels. I have him taking Sorcerer, Sage Sorcerer, because I really don't like Alchemist, even if I somewhat misunderstood it before. So yeah, we're taking a second level of Sage Sorcerer. Um, let's get him his skills. Let's get his Knowledge Arcana up. There we go. Yeah, just invest it all into Knowledge Arcana. Right, he gets a new feat. Um, We'll get him Arcane Armor Training. Since he already knows how to wear armor from Alchemist. Alright, then level 8 he will take his third level of Sorcerer. And yeah, definitely put this point into intelligence. Alright, let's look up your knowledge arcana and your knowledge world and your trickery. And then let's go with your lore nature. And lore religion. There we go. Make you a more knowledgeable person. Oh, you've got magic missile already because of one of your other things. Then you get to learn a fourth spell right now. Let's have you go with Enlarge Person, so both you and Amiri can do that, I mean, and Octavia. Oh wait, since I'm only using you when Octavia's not around, yeah, I should have had you just take that in the first place. Alright. I'm about casting Adept. Okay. Nice. Alright, so we have a handful of things that we want to do right now. One of which is take uh, Jublos to those uh, dwarven ruins. Um, we also want to go up to... Um, what is it? 
not Oleg's trading post, but Lin's Assure, to take those books to Boken. And those things are in opposite directions. But let's do that one first. Arrest is in order. Is it now? Maybe we should stop in at Oleg's. Oh, and we wanted to go visit Megarvarn. It is done. If we actually can. Here. There's Boken. Someone's house. I mean, Boken is here, right? This is where we built his shop. He's not going to be up at Oleg's trading post like he used to be, is he? I suppose we'll go in this house and see what's in there. Just a little house. Okay. No stopping now. No broken. Okay. Arrest is in order. Yep, Oaken's up. Miracle shop is here. He should be here somewhere. Okay. Should be in Lindsayshire. Well, let's go check on Oleg's trading post then. We'll rest there. March on. Yep. Hey, Boken, why aren't you, like, in the town with your shop? Boken smiles at you. Oh, it's you. Want to buy anything? Yeah, about those tasks of yours.
Is this the book you wanted me to find? It is, yes. Let's take a look. A bit tattered, isn't it? Seen better days, that's for sure, but it'll do just fine, thank you. Alright, here's the second volume of that book set. Perfect, hand it over, will you? Wait, I have this one. Well, this is awkward. Oh well. And, uh, of Transmutations and Bodily Poisons, Volume 3. Here you are, Boken. Boken's eyes glisten. Just what I need. All three volumes. All that's left now is to read through them. Assemble all the necessary ingredients, but I can handle that myself. Thank you for your help. I'll send word once I've found something. Alright, um, show me what you have, though. Wait, that other person wants me to get some of this stuff. Okay, hold on a sec. Spoken. The old bell dame wants... I need to establish a settlement in the Caimlands. Alright, but Swamp Bouquet. Three each of Mudleaf, Gloomberry, and Dizzy Head. And we currently have of those. Um, I have the three Gloomberries. So I need. Mudleaf and Dizzy Head, and it looks like Boken has those. Perfect. Sell you some things. Alright, thanks, Spoken. We'll rest here tonight, and then we'll go back to the old building. Reminds me of old times. Out of curiosity, how far am I from my next level? I'll make my own legend. And Lindsay will write it down. Okay. 
4,774. Got it. No stopping now. Okay, where's the Swamp Witch's Hut? Show location names. Well, we've got something new in Cerulea. What's going on? Curator needs your help. An advisor wants to discuss matters... Discuss an urgent matter that concerns the Baroness future. Well, I can't do that until I'm home. What's this? Nature's Rage. Animals are flying into inexplicable rages. Wild beasts emerge from the woods to attack people. Livestock try and kick their owners, and even loyal dogs bite the hens that feed them. Someone must find the cause of these strange events and put a stop to them. <clears throat> the two people that could do it are busy. So there we go. The room's got three days. Harem is done with his one thing, then we'll check on stuff there. But right now we need to go back to the Swamp Witch's Hut. Three days and five hours, eh? Oh no, spotted peaceful travelers. It's probably that skeletal merchant again. It is. Hey, skeletal salesman. Uh, show me your wares. Alright, well I'm going to sell you some stuff that I meant to sell the book and this citrine and this agate, I mean, oh, bloodstone, sorry. Um, and that's it. Alright, thank you skeletal sword, uh, salesman.
Alright, let's continue on. I've spotted enemies. We will... Uh, you know what? Fine, we'll fight. I could use the experience. I suppose the enemies saw in us and us and saw us and thought better of it. Passing through home. Well, in that case, we're just going to stop at home. Spotted enemies, shovel fight. <clears throat> Make things safer in the barony. Taking care of whatever we're serious. Oh, goblins. Mary charged the goblin. What's this one? It's a sly eye. Or it was a sly eye. Um, see if you can find more of them? Was it just the one goblin? Oh, this is me. Oops. There's a goblin. Get it, Tear them apart! Good job. Was it just those two goblins? I guess so. to talk to me, so we'll talk to the curator. <laughs> Respects, Your Grace, the storyteller bows. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there is an important issue concerning my responsibilities. As a curator, I could not help but notice that the level of education in your barony is abyssal. Many citizens don't know how to read, and they send their children out not to study, but to work from dawn till dusk. We must break this vicious cycle. Make the first step. Order the opening of village schools, or at least contact the priests who are educated enough to teach their congregation reading, writing, and natural science. Of course, this will require no little investment, but the result will justify any expense. So again, they can spend VPs that I don't have. All right. Yeah. Um. 
We will open schools. I don't want my lands to be inhabited by uneducated bumpkins. Oh, I could support the curator's endeavors now. Nice. Um, let's skip two days to finish Harm's thing first. Alright. The Fey Magician visit. Okay, success. The priests were able to lift the Fey's curse, and the people in the settlement are heaving a sigh of relief. Nice. Okay. So that's 14, that's 23, that's 13. Gongar is not doing anything right now. Nature's rage can be handled by Harn. The name of the law can't be handled by anyone at the moment. Alright, Harn, handle nature's rage. Ooh. Success chance is only 45%. We only have a plus 7 for this. Hmm. What if I spend two crisis points? Okay. You only fail on a one. So, yeah. There we go. We'll start that event, and then... Go ahead and support the curator's endeavors. And let's start this. Alright, culture reached, reached rank 2. Nice. Blighted disease. disease. There have been cases... Oh, okay. This was the thing that Tristian was working on. The mysterious disease was successfully contained. Loyalty plus 3. Nice. Strengthen Ledetta's skills as regent. The advisor learns new nuances of their craft and becomes more efficient in their posts. Nice. Right. The harem is still working on that. We have new things now as well. Light of disease. That would be Tristian. Livestock deaths. That would also be Tristian. Um, a nasty rumor. That would also be Tristian. percent chance on that. No, I'm going to have you do in the name of the law. don't have anything Rick Gongar or the Storyteller could be doing right now. Or Bada could be doing right now. Alright, what's the point in having so many advisors if they don't all have something to address? It's like there's never-ending things for my regent... I'm sorry, my... Uh, treasurer? and my high priest to do, but...
Well, apparently I can't build the free school while I'm in debt. Let's see. Plus one divine when adjacent to a shrine, plus one military when adjacent to a barracks. Well, I can't build it adjacent to the barracks, but I can build it adjacent to a shrine. Lindsay has come to see me. Lindsay, why would you look at that? Svetlana sent you a letter. It seems she's worried about old Boken. The letter is very emotional. We just went and saw him. Okay. I'll have to look at the letter then. Your Grace, I hope that matters of state in this land of ours are indeed all fine and well, and what troubles there are don't weigh too heavily upon your mind. I write to ask you to check our local herb doctor, Boken. The poor old man is losing his mind. He spends all day and all night stooped over his cauldron. He looks about to lash. He looks, yeah, he looks about to lash out at everyone, especially those he doesn't know. He even snarls at me and Oleg, which he'd never have let himself do before. Please come see him before the old codger loses his mind completely. May the rest will save him. We have no one to turn to you but you. Hoping you come as soon as possible. I remain very truly yours, Svetlana Levitin. Oh, hey, well, we just were up there with him. But that's not happening right this second. It is done! We're going to return to the old building, and then we're going to check out the, uh, whatchamacallit. Where's the swamp which is hot? Down here. is in order. You again? Hmph. I'd offer you tea, but I don't have any. How about a cup of death cap tincture instead? She gives a splintered grin. Best thing for health. Uh, now I'm gonna give her the herbs. Here are your herbs, three bundles of each. The old woman claps her hands and grins, revealing a row of brown, uneven teeth. That's a good boy. Did it take a lot of time to find him, eh? Give them here. I'll put them to good use. Cool. Thank you. Experience some gold. That's what I want. Right. Well, that's that. I believe I found something. 
Oh, so you did. Nice little cache of things. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Yeah, it probably would. Let's go now to the tour of the ruins. I'm hungry. When we okay, stop. now we're all tired. Now we'll rest. Alright, Jubilos, do you, um, camouflage the camp? Lindsay, you can make dinner. Take one watch. Christine, you take the other. Um, Valerie is just dribblest. And I'll use my special ability to just gather us provisions without having to actually hunt. Okay, I still have to click use rations. I'm just getting them myself. Okay, there we go. Alright, begin resting. We're a strange group. More like a handful of outcasts than an army of heroes. Anyway, they say even the first Aldori sword lord was an outcast. Are we any worse than him? Splendid, I knew you couldn't hide from me forever, you elusive dwarven outpost. Jublos digs the map of, out of his pocket and makes a mark on it. That's it. On behalf of the institutions of Inner Sea, I hereby thank you. As a matter of fact, I am even qualified to reward your, your help in hard coin. He gets out of his purse and throws it to you. Coins. 1800. Nice. Now all I have to do is finish my article for the independence about the state of affairs in your barony. Jublos looks at you defiantly. I will be honest with you. Unfortunately, I can't write anything too good. Monsters roaming the roads, minimal educational levels, and a traveler needs some unprecedented luck to be able to find any interesting sites or landmarks. Sadly, these lands are not attractive, neither for potential settlers nor tourists. Well, if you are so set up to be impartial, don't forget to mention that the Baron of these lands tends to major problems personally, so all of them will be solved in the near future. 
Ahem, you know, you are right. I will add a paragraph somewhere near the end, telling readers that the barony is still developing and that it has some positive trends. Good. I'll need some time to finish my article. Until then, I'll stay at your capital. I'm sure you don't mind. Great. By the way, I'd be pleased to travel with you sometime if you wanted to have a conversation with someone smarter than your usual companions. Okay, so you just wanted to get to the location. You don't even need to go inside. All right. That was simple. That was what I wanted to do. That has now been taken care of. So I still have the Curse of Candlemare. Ancient formula. Oh, okay. I have to check on, on lots of space. Onslaught was divided into three pieces, two different merchants. Okay. Alright, let's get back to Cerulea. We'll pick up Octavia, drop off to the Time to get some rest, isn't it? Not yet. Oh, we've spotted enemies. We will fight. Even though some of us are tired. May we have a moment of respite? Mm -hmm. Not quite yet. Claw me, claw me, no, claw me, claw the something or other. Oh, it's the young, um. What's it called? Something cat. Oh, there's a bandit. Oh, we're fighting bandits. Okay. Good. Now, Alright, music time, Lindsay. And shoot the illusion. Right. Well done. Alright, Tristan. Go ahead and scorch you real well. Wow. Nice, Tristian. Nice. Oh, there's a bandit cleric. Go ahead and range your Mary, and then charge the bandit bard. Well done. Alright, Jubilos, throw an acid bomb at it. Okay, so it, okay. That actually doesn't hit my people. Well, it would have been nice if something had, like, said that before, like, I decided I didn't want to use him. Without me having to read his entire like character sheet. I'm gonna shoot. Can I shoot the cleric? Or is it too far away? It's pretty. Yeah, it's too far away. I'll shoot this we bandit thing. Uh. And it's dead. All right, wolf. Uh, that one is dead too. Go, I mean, you can barely, you can actually get all the way to the cleric. That's nice. <clears throat> oh, there's another cleric. Cool. Yeah, go ahead and lightning bolt that cleric. Oh, 
You killed it. Good job, Valerie. It's good to see the young Dwight. Dwayomer cat again. It's been a while. Yep, go get closer to the other fight. Well, Lindsay. No, you can't get close enough to fireball or anything. So just get closer. Yep, the cleric uh, stupidly shot their crossbow while the wolf was standing next to them, and the wolf killed them. Excellent. Did the cat disappear? Oh well. Follow me. Time to get some rest, isn't it? Duly noted, Jubilus. Duly noted. We should gather our strength. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until everyone is exhausted. I don't detract from your merits, but you are too arrogant. No matter how many books you've written, it doesn't give you the right to look down on others. I'm a gnome, if you haven't noticed. I'd need a ladder to look down on anyone at all. Right, let me double check the kingdom real quick. I think someone has something nearing completion. Five days on Jubilist's thing. Alright, cool beans. Alright, let's ditch Jublos and get Octavia back.
Alright, then let's go check on, um, Oaken. I should really do more actual just exploring, exploring. Arrest is in order. And we'll just have to see how Boken's doing next time. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Pathfinder Kingmaker, the Chronicle of Arius Cyril. And I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have. <laughs>